Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with two, three of the weekly contest 322. Minimum score of a path between two cities. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. So, not gonna lie, I spent eight minutes here, but and one wrong answer, but that, that one was also sad. But to be honest, I, I misread the problem. Uh, so that one made it a little bit harder than it needed to be. Um, or maybe not harder, just like I solve an extra problem because I misread it. I thought it was the max, because usually when, when you read this problem, it's usually the max score uh, of a path between two cities, but I really just didn't, you know, and if you watch me solve it live next, you'll see it. And the way to do that problem is by union fine and sorting the edges, basically building out, um, basically building out a minimum spanning tree um, so that you get the, um, the, the, um, the what you might call it, the 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 uh, the critical path, if you will, um, the cri critical edge that is last added to the thing. Um, only th after I solved it, I was like, I, I I ran the cases and I was like, oh wait, I'm so confused. Why doesn't this work? Why is this returning five? And of course, it's the minimum. So basically, the idea here, which it's kind of a really weird idea, so may it is way easier to misread. But the idea is just basically, um, greedily take every road that you can and then take the min from the, every road that you can. So basically it becomes um, a connected components problem with a little bit of a trickiness. Um, to, and I kind of messed up on how I, I fixed it um, because I was just writing the connected components. But then on some cases, like for example, one, four, and two, if you process them in a certain way, you may not go, uh, you may not connect, you know, to the other nodes or something. So this, I think for this one, I failed or I didn't fail, but, but I, I ran it and it returned um seven or something so then i was like oh well, um you know that's no good so yeah um but the way to do it is still with breath first search um here i construct the adjacency list here i just set up the queue and the the key thing here is that we we relax each edge even if we don't add to it. So my first wrong answer was that i had this here and then uh, i got a time limit exceeded because i just I thought, oh, if we haven't seen this edge, then we process that queue again, but that wasn't right. So what I did was that I just took it out so that um, we don't have to practice each, we don't have to, um, I mean, I think another way of writing this actually is just taking this out now that um, I think about it a little bit more clearly. Um, if you take it out like this, then um, this is what you're doing to process this current node. Um, so this, even though, you know, I, I combined them into one for loop before, now I think it makes it more clear that this is the proce processing for current node. And then this is um, look at, well, you know, add adjacent nodes to be processed, right? So, you know, this is just becomes, uh, like I said, connected components. Um, and that's pretty much it. This is the um, complexity is going to be V plus E linear time, you know, going from one to n, uh, pretty straightforward, really. But uh, but like I said, I solved an extra problem by accident, so that's why it took so long. And also, uh, I don't know, one of those days, just having one of those days. Anyway, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if this explanation isn't sufficient, because I feel like this is, I explained this in a very short way. But the idea is that if you look at all the edges that you're connected to or able to um, connect to, then you just take the greedy, like the smallest, and that's your weight, right? So, you know, why not? Because everything is free and there's no, you don't need it to be simple. So you just take all the paths that you can, take them in. Um, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And you could watch me sub a live during the contest now. This is a disaster of a day. Uh, eh, I think I was trying to be too clever. I, I should have done it that, the way that I did it. Okay. Score between two things minimum. Oh, the minimum distance. Okay, well, between one and n. Mm. 
that's just easy but up so badly on the other one um Hmm, that's not right. Hmm, that seems right. Two, four, two, three, one, four. Oh, minimum. I misread this one. Minimum distance of a road in this path. Okay, I misread this one. Okay. Whoops. Hmm. How is it just not the minimum? Oh man, I spent so much time on this. Um, today's not my day. Uh, okay. I misread this one so badly. Yeah. This is a valid input for now, but uh did it. Mm. It's not connect it's not always connected, that's why. But I misread this one. Fuck. Okay. Um hmm. Uh. <sighs> okay, solved the one problem. Okay, and then now. Mm. I mean, it's not that bad, it's just I solved the one problem and I've kind of. Kind of tilted on it. X in the 
ça. Get six, huh? Oh, because we have mm, that's not what I wanted to do. Did this time out? No, oh, it we should look at every edge only once, but I see. Yeah, okay, fine. I'm just very sloppy today. I didn't really think it through. I just thought it'd be fast enough, to be honest. So okay. But basically the idea is that okay. Okay, and now the third one. <sighs> Dumbass. I'm a dummy. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem and the explanation. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.